Fortunate. Now back on the record, it's 2.37 p.m. beginning of recording three. Okay, Ms. Martin, we're gonna, um, I'm gonna try to keep my own self back on track, but if I don't, fortunately, Ms. Mitchell will help us out. Um, while we were on the break, some emails were brought in that you had referred to earlier. I wanna put a pin in those just for the moment, but we are gonna come back to those and mark those so that that'll uh, add clarification to your testimony about a timeline, okay? Thank you. So, yes, let's not forget that. I've got them right here, and I've got a sticker on them, and we won't forget that. Um, they did, though, remind me of a question that I had for you with regard to the sale of Tract G, and I didn't ask you when we were visiting about it. You told me that um, the sales price for Tract G was 95000 right? Yes. And... Um, I believe that it's been stated most recently on October 26th at a meeting that discussed a settlement that we're going to talk about in a minute uh, with you, but that all of the proceeds from the sale of that tract were used to reduce the principal on the outstanding debt. Do you know one way or the other? I know that, uh, well, uh, I'm, what I'm trying to remember is if we put money with it to round it up to 100000 or something. I really don't know without going through the books of the corporation at the time, but, you know, that was what I understand they did, you know, so, at but without having the books in front of me, I can't tell you you know, if we added to that to round it up or not. Fair enough. I, I know that you weren't on the board at the time in May of 2015, but since you later got so involved with the indebtedness and the restructuring, I thought that perhaps you'd educated yourself about that one way or the other. Was it Carrie Gibson who was the person in charge of keeping the record straight with regard to what had been paid on the debt? Yes. Okay. Let me show you what I've marked as Exhibit 54, which are meeting minutes <clears throat> from the board meeting on October 31, 2015. First, I'm going to let you take a look at that, and then I've flagged something that I'd like to ask you about. What I want to ask you about, I've flagged, but I don't mean to confine you to yeah. just that part. I just am trying to focus. It's on the last page, which is numbered page three. And from reading the body of the minutes, this is a report from Raven, who's the accountant, right? Yes. And item four says, please confirm that you paid 56000 down on the loan, principal reduction, in May 2015. Do you see that? Yes. And I wanted to know, since you were so involved with the restructure of the debt later, is that all that was paid down after the $95,000 sale was 56000 I didn't think so. I, uh, we, need to, we need to go to the books okay. to find those. Yes. I, 
if you can't remember. I can't remember or I'll tell you. I thought that yeah. you might could remember that from the other work that you had done. Certainly the proper thing to have done with those proceeds would be to use them to pay off the debt, right? Sure. Uh, we were trying to pay it down, definitely. Well, it would have been great to pay it off, right? Well, I think we owed uh, a lot more than what that was, so. Well, what did the water supply company owe in debt in uh, March? like March 1st of 2016. I'd have to go back and look at the books. I'm, I've, but I, I want to say it was under 600,000, somewhere between <coughs> 550 and 600,000. So if the even 3.8 acres had sold for the same price as the Van Trees to Martin sale, the debt could have been almost extinguished. Isn't that right? Form. I think that's asking me to be hypothetical on two properties that aren't even comparable, in my well, opinion. We'll talk about that in a minute. Mm -hmm. We can put a pin in that one. But the math would work if you had a per acre price that was the same as the Van Tree sale and you applied it to 3.8 acres, the debt would have been almost extinguished. Isn't that correct? Check form. Check form. If, if we could have gotten more money, sure, that would have been great. And you really don't know how much money you could have gotten because it was never put on the market. Isn't that so? The board made a decision at the time to go with an offer, a good faith offer, and they could have told me no. Objection, non-responsive. Could you read my question back? We're going to have to off the record. Okay. Let's see. We're off the record at 2.44 p.m. Something happened? Yeah. Um, back on the record is 2.44 p.m. Question, and you really don't know what you could have got for it because it was never put on the market. Isn't that so? Yes. Okay. We talked a minute ago about the sale from the water supply company to the Witten on track G, but then Witten resold track G later. Is that correct? Yes. In May of 2016. Is that right? Yes. Were you involved in that transaction? Yes. How were you involved? I was the listing agent in it. For Witten? For Witten. Okay. And did you get a commission? Yes. How much was your commission? 3%. And it was 3% of what? What was the selling price? That's how I should have asked that. What was the selling price? We had, um, he didn't, this is going to be difficult to explain, but he didn't want to sell it for, um, he, he wanted interest on his loan. So the, the selling price was I, I know I'm going to I'm, I've got to think about this how they structured it. It, it between the two of them they structured it in a very odd way so uh, let me ask it this way what was the amount of money that changed hands from buyer to seller on a gross basis at the time of the closing I don't know I have to go back to the closing docs and look at it order of magnitude I really need to look at my closing docs to to make that the proper answer on that. Did the Widdens lose money? They did not lose money. They made money. So it's more than 95000 Sure. You just don't know how much more than 95000 Correct. Not without going back to that. Okay. And I'd do the same math if I wanted, and if I just wanted to pick 95000 to use, even though I know it's more than that, I'd say the same math, 95000 divided by 0. 0.1712 acres, right? And I'd get a per acre price. Correct. Okay.
Were you a director <coughs> of the water supply company on May 16th of 2016? I believe I was. I think the, I have to look when the elections were, but that sounds right. And you were a director of the water supply company on May 15 of 2015, weren't you? I believe, I believe I have to look and see when the actual election was, but I believe it was early May. Okay. Who from the water supply company um, closed the sale of Track G to the Widdens? Service Title Company. I'm sorry, I, I meant to ask you, um, there was a person, I assume, from the water supply company that signed the documents for the water supply company. Bob Maben. And he, so he went to the closing? No, no. Kerry Gibson came by the office. They, the uh, title company gave me a packet for them to sign because nobody could get, Bob couldn't get out until the weekend, so I called Kerry since she's an, a, uh, uh, a notary and she signed the papers. She notarized for Bob. Okay. I went by the title company. Okay, but just so I'm clear, it was Mr. Maben who closed the transaction for the water supply company? Yes. Okay, and no one else? No one else. Okay. And I haven't seen any corporate resolution having to do with the sale of Track G. Are you aware of any corporate resolution? I'm not. Uh, I mean, the title company usually prepares one if the uh, corporation doesn't have one they're using. But you had the packet, and you took the packet. Yeah, I don't recall seeing it, but okay. uh, we'd have to go back and check at the title company. Is Exhibit 45 the deed that goes along with the resale of Track uh -huh. G from the Widdens to, I don't remember who they sold it to, to be honest. Uh, to Dean Johnson? Right. Is 45 the deed that goes along with that? What was the question? Is that the deed that goes along with the transaction wherein Track G was resold from the Widdens? Yes. To Mr. Dean Johnson? Yes. Okay. It has in it a vendor's lien retained for 100000 does that jog your memory at all about what the selling price was? No, not without going back to the closing documents. Okay. But it had to be at least 100000 didn't it? Yes. Okay. And then in April of 2017, Friendship sold lot H2A to the mayors, right? Yes. Is Exhibit 55 the deed that goes along with that? Yes. And what was the selling price? 150000 And you had, if I'm remembering correctly, you had replatted lot H2 into two smaller lots. Is that correct? No. Okay. That is correct. That's incorrect. Then help me. Or H2 into... When I purchased it, and we were platting it off of the other track, because I was taking a loan on the south, just a portion of it, and leaving the north half as a, um, uh, to get a loan for the construction loan to develop it. So I, had, I would have a loan with the Widdens, and then I'd have a loan at the bank that would be a construction loan. And the Widdens agreed to just put their loan on a portion of the property for me. And if you look at the original plat of that, you'll see that's where uh, the north half is a little bit, a little bit smaller than the south half. Okay, I'm going to object as non-responsive, but it's probably because I didn't ask a very good question. Okay. In anticipation of the sale to the mayors, <coughs> did you divide tract H2? into two smaller lots? No. Okay. Yeah. 
Did you replat at all? Yes. And what did you do? They moved the line separating H1 and H2 further south. Is exhibit 56 the plat that you processed before you did the sale to the mayors? Yes. Was there originally a tract H2A? Uh, H2A is what got sold to Mayor. Right, but H2A didn't exist until you did that plat that you're holding in your hand, isn't that right? That's correct. There was an, a track H2, and it is no longer in existence. Let me show you Exhibit 57, which I believe is the original plat that was processed prior to the time that it was conveyed in March of 2016. Is that That's correct? correct? Along with Piper Lane. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that plat created two lots, tracked H1 and tracked H2, correct? Three lots, including Piper Lane. It platted Piper Lane, but it didn't plat Piper Lane as an H tract, correct? Well, in, in the original design, it, it did. The line went on over, but the surveyor called me, uh, Watson, and said, on the tax rolls, since Piper Lane is all an easement, pull it out so you don't get taxed so much. And so that's why it became three lots. You are the one that was fully in charge of the platting process, correct? Nobody at the water supply company told you how to plat that property. Correct. You could plat it any way you wanted. Isn't that right? Check, no. Check if you wanted to plat six track G lots right across the front on Piper Lane, you could have done that. Isn't that right? Check form. I don't think I could have. Because, well, it wasn't anything the water supply company told you you couldn't do, was it? Check form. No, it, it, it uh, I'm not the one platting it, the water company is. Well, now, really, there's nothing in your contract about platting that property, is there? The plat itself, because of we're cutting off from an existing larger track of land, in order for the water company to do that, it it could have been just one big track. Objection, non-responsive. Okay. If you're done, do you remember what my question was? Please refresh. Me. She's she's going to read it back to okay. you. Well, no, really, there's nothing in the contract about hiding that property, is there? That was my question. <coughs> not specifically. Well, not generally. You can find, I mean, the contract's in that big old book, and it's, let's see here, we'll find it. It's at tab 14, I believe. You're welcome to look at it, but I'm pretty sure you know the answer to this. Check form. In order to sell off from a, a larger tract of land, it had to be platted off per Burnett County. Fine. You could have platted it as one. Check form. Correct? That is correct. You could have platted it as six, correct? Check Incorrect. Form. Why could you not plat it as six if that's what you wanted to do? Because, okay. Because the the water company cannot be the one platting it into multiple lots. The water company could have platted it into six lots if it wanted to. Check form. Isn't that right? Sure. That's incorrect in, in what I've been told. You're telling me a landowner that the water supply company couldn't have walked into the Burnett County Commissioner's Court and platted its property any way that it saw fit? Sure. That is exactly what I was told 
and the board was told by the attorney for the water company at the time. Mark Zeppa? Yes. Mark Zeppa told the board that it was not free to plat the property any way it desired. Mark, Mark Zeppa told the board previously that they were not, could not be developers and plat a property to sell multiple lots. Yes, they could not be developers, that is true. Right. But isn't it true that there was nothing to prevent the water board from platting that property any way it saw fit and selling off those parcels any way it saw fit? Check form. form. That would be a question for the attorney. What, I, I, can't, I can't agree with you. I think that that's the, up to the what the attorneys and the county, but what under the uh, Windermere Oaks Water Supply uh, Articles of Incorporation, article. yes, yes. Yeah. those, right. yes, that right. says it's supposed to be in the water supply business and the sewer business, not the real estate development business. That's what Zeppa told you, isn't it? Exactly. That's what I understand. Yes. But insofar as planning, <coughs> Isn't it true that the water supply company had the same latitude vis-a-vis -vis the Burnett County Commissioner's Court to plat that property as you do today? Check form. Check form. I, I don't think that's true. And I'm, that's my opinion, and that's just based upon what I've heard from Zeppa over the years. And over what years have you heard this advice from Zeppa? I mean... How many times has this come up? Well, I just I, I know what uh, what I've heard, and and the water company cannot be a developer. It can't it can't go in and develop out a bunch of lots. All right, I just want to be sure I'm clear because yeah. Zeppa is going to answer for this. I want you to tell me exactly as much as you can, the best you can, what advice you believe Zeppa gave the board concerning the platting of the property prior to the sale to Friendship Homes and Hangers? The advice that he gave the, uh, uh, the Windermere Oaks Water Supply Corporation years before this transaction was that Windermere Oaks Water Supply cannot be a developer and go in and plat off lots. And when was years before? I would have to go look at, uh, you know, a copy of an email from uh, Mark Zeppa. <coughs> to you? Not to me. To uh, uh, another party that was considering looking at properties. Who was that? Uh, my uh, my partner Malcolm Bailey. He had he had talked to Mark Zeppa about. Uh, whether the water company could go in and develop this as hangar lots. And Zeppa said, no, the water company cannot be a real estate developer, correct? Yes, that is correct. And when did that happen? Sometime in the uh, early 2000s, <coughs> or early, two, I don't know, I'd have, to, I'd have to go back, it's just, it's, it's long before this transaction. On how many occasions have you or an in entity that you have an interest in expressed an interest in purchasing some or all of the airport property that was owned by the water supply company? Oh. I haven't had any, uh, I think maybe in the early 2000s when we were putting in this roadway, that was one time. And then uh, there was one other time when Malcolm and whoever was the president at the time, and that's where the Zeppa said, "No, you can't. You can't go in partners developing it or anything." Then the last time was that when uh, what I mentioned earlier when uh, Mr. Mulligan had <coughs> called me. Well, I didn't hear anything about that, but let's talk about it. When did Mr. Mulligan call you? I mentioned it earlier in the t testimony that Mr. Mulligan had called me because the board was considering selling seven acres. You did say that. Okay. <coughs> and uh, that they had an offer on the table 
and uh, uh, you know, at, he was saying that the the board would consider somewhere in the two hundred and fifty thousand range for the seven acres, and would Malcolm and I be interested in in buying the seven acres? And I said I would get back with him, and I called him back, and he said, well. Uh, we've decided to wait and go ahead and sell the whole property as one piece. I said, okay. After they got everything moved? Yeah, that's what he said. Okay. Right. I, I do remember that. Yeah. You did say that. Yeah. Okay. But here's what I'm trying to understand is there was no conversation with Zeppa in connection with your platting of Tract H. That's that correct. That's correct. This Zeppa was not involved in the transaction with Friendship Homes and Hangers at all, was he? He was not, and uh, because I was helping pay for the platting and I wanted a loan to only be on part of it so I could have, the whole idea was if, if I could get this developed and uh, it would, whatever I do to this track would make the balance of the track worth more. And so in in uh, in the loan process, it was my decision to put the loan only on part of the property. That's why I needed uh, this put into two pieces. And the surveyor said that's not a problem. It, it for them it was the same thing. Okay. Yeah. I just want to clear up any confusion. Okay. Mark Zeppa did not give any advice in connection with the friendship homes and hangers. Platting or transaction, is that correct? That's correct, as far as I know. Okay. If Bob or one of the other uh, board spoke to him, I'm not aware of that. Okay. So, how much acreage did you end up selling to the mayors? 1.25 acres. Lord, I'm just paying somebody on my Visa card. Okay, so 150000 divided by 1.25. Mm -hmm. It's 120000 right? Mm -hmm. Per acre. And if I am understanding you, all that had occurred on that property that you sold to the mayors, in between the time it was acquired and the time it was sold, is, did you have the topo done? Yes. So you had a topographic study done on the whole property. And is anything else? Well, the most important thing, I came up with a design to develop the property. And part of my agreement with Mr. Mayor is that uh, just like the Landseer piece, which is 1.25 acres that I was going to develop into three lots, I would be helping him develop his piece into three lots later. So the, 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 the overall design of how to, how to develop a property was being formulated, and, and that's, those two pieces were already in... Uh, in the overall land design that I had come up with. Anything else that you had done to improve or enhance the property well, that besides, was sold to the mayors? Uh, you had a topo done. Well, you yeah. had a design. And first off, we had to uh, spend uh, quite a bit of money having the property cleaned up. It had been used for a debris pile for many years. It was used for a burn pile at one year. So there was... Uh, How much money? Oh, I think I spent somewhere around, without going through the books, but somewhere somewhere in the three to 4000 range. 3000 to 4000 and you've mm -hmm. got books and records on that. What else? Any other expenses? The, the uh, topography. You did a topographic and, study of the whole, mm -hmm. but but you didn't use that in order to sell it to the mayors, right? Text form. 
that wasn't one a selling point. Hey, I've got a topographic study, right? Yes, because it's one of one of the pieces needed when you go to develop is is how they're going to fill the land and put in taxiways and elevations. You have to have a beginning topography to even start and the with mayor, the developing of it. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to step on your answer. If okay. you need to finish, you, I will. I'm done. Hush. The mayors, were they developers? No. So they weren't going to develop the property? No, he's a pilot. He wants you know, to have a hanger on it. Okay. And so is there any other expense item that you incurred prior to the sale to the mayors? Uh, uh, interest on my loan for a year. The loan to the Wittens? Yeah. And how much was that? I'm um, paying $1,000 a month on that. And that's on the whole? Mm -hmm. And you kept half the property, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. And what was it that uh, precipitated Mr. Mayer wanting to purchase when he did, if you know? He liked my plan. Well, what I'm getting to is, was he in the market for a hangar lot around the time that you acquired all of the property? Check No. Okay. So he came into the market for a hangar lot after that? Check He came into, yes. When did he start wanting a hangar lot? I couldn't tell you. Is I, he not somebody you also do quite a bit of business with? Yes. And this was not the first time that you had done business with him, correct? Correct. When did you first, did you approach him and say, hey, I've got this lot that you might be interested in? Yes. When did you do that? I can't, I have no idea. It was on one of his trips up here. He lives in Houston. Was there a reason that you didn't do that right away? I hadn't come up with a, an overall plan on how to, I wanted to develop the property. So that was just a function of you coming up with a plan? Right. Okay. So we've got cleanup, topographic study. We've got, and by the way, what'd you pay for that? Um, around 4,800. And that was on the whole for, or no, three point, that was on 3.8 acres or what? 3.8. <coughs> okay. And uh, you've got that topographic study somewhere, yes. right? Okay. And then interest on the Witten loan that you'd paid? Yeah. Anything else? Any other expense item we've overlooked? Uh, I would have to go back and check. You know, it, of course, my time and, and effort in meeting with the electricians and, uh, you know, George Burris on where the water and sewer is. Um, now, you did process the subdivision plat prior to the time this property was conveyed to Friendship, right? Objection form. I, I don't understand the question. You carried it over to the Burnett County Commissioner's Court. You applied for it and you presented it when they had a hearing on it so that it would get approved. Yes. And you did that. Nobody else from the Water Board did that. That's correct. Okay. My bad. Do I have it over here? What number is it? Do you know? No. My bad. Ah, 58. I've got it. Come on. Let's do this. Let me show you Exhibit 58, which I believe are the minutes that reflect that you were the one who presented the subdivision <coughs> plat for approval, correct? Yes. And that occurred on what date? For a date on this. 
The one I find is at the very top of the first page. Eighth on this, day of March. Yep, yeah, that's what mm -hmm. I see. There we go. Eighth day of March 2016, the Burnett County Commissioner's Court met in regular session and so forth. Correct. Is that consistent with your recollection? Yes. Okay. Was the plat, so the plat got approved March 8th, 2016, correct? Correct. And when was it recorded? March 8, 2016. Same day? Yes. Okay. When was the replat recorded? Mm. One twenty four, two thousand seventeen. 2017 Okay. Now, without regard to what the water supply company could or couldn't do. Isn't it true that the day after you closed <coughs> through Friendship Homes and Hangers, you and Friendship could have gone right over to the Burnett County Commissioner's Court and replatted the property if you wanted to? Yes. And you could have if you wanted to. You could have replatted the property into five, six, six, or maybe seven track G's right along Piper Lane. Sure. Oh. Oh, that would have been really skinny, bad land planning to do it that way. I mean, yes, I could have, but had, it would have been a poor decision. Had you wanted to do it, though, you could have just taken that cut out of track G and you could have set one of those down right along Piper Lane and it would have been about six of them, huh? Check the form. Check the form. Isn't that right? It's, you're, like, that's hypothetical of what I could have done. I, that's I understand you don't think that that's the best design. I right. get that. And you may well be absolutely correct about it. But if you wanted to say, okay, I'm going to buy this property and I'm going to turn it into hangar lots. That's one plan that you could have had. There was no reason you could not. Isn't that true? Yes. Or you could have done what you later did and you could have cut some lots in a taxiway down the middle, right? Yes. And that was your later plan. Yes. Let's take a look at that real quick. And by the way, if you had just plopped down six or so track G size lots all the way down Piper Lane, they would have had immediate taxiway frontage on an improved taxiway, correct? Check the form. Yes, yeah, section four. What's the objection? Well, you're assuming it would have been accessible, usable taxiway frontage. Okay. You're assuming that these are viable divisions. i got about three or four more. And you have the words immediate, which is there's there would be testimony that there's quite a bit of work, site plan and other work that <clears> need to be done on the property. So the immediate is what I take objection to as well. I think that's a well-founded objection. I want to rephrase my question. Or, do you need to study on something a minute? Because I want to give you, I mean, if you do, I want to stop and let you do that. Well, I'm looking at the uh, how much foot of frontage you have. Five hundred and forty-four feet of frontage. Five hundred and forty-four feet of frontage, yeah. and how wide yeah. is Track G? What's its frontage? Track G. Seventy-five feet sound right? X actually seventy-four point yeah. five nine or something right. like that. Does that sound mm -hmm. about right? Mm -hmm. And so we can get my handy dandy calculator out and find out how many times 75 goes into, what did you say, 545? 545. 544. 544? Mm -hmm. Let's do it right. 544 divided by 75. 7.25. So you could get at least seven track G's of down Piper Lane. Okay. If that's what you wanted to do. If that's what you wanted to do. And when I said they would have immediate 
taxiway access, here's what I meant, and I want to be sure that I'm clear about it. Piper Lane is a taxiway, correct? Yes. And had you gone and done seven track G's along Piper Lane, they, the owners or purchasers of those lots would have been entitled to access the taxiway directly on to Piper Lane, correct? Yes. Okay. They don't need any permission, further permission from you or the Pilots Association or Windermere Air Park or anybody else. Isn't that right? Not to access Piper Lane. Okay. And once they're on Piper Lane, isn't it true that they have a way to get to the runway? They need to check on all their easements to make sure that they have all their yeah, easements. But I'm asking you, because you bought that property. Did you think you didn't have access to the runway? No, I knew I had access because I made sure that any lots that I sell are a member of the Pilots Association, which entitles them to access to all of the easements of that association. Well, you know that's not in the deeds that were given to Friendship, right? Uh, it's in the contract. It is in the contract. Yeah. Why is it not in the deeds? I don't know. Why was EPA not involved in this deal? I don't know. Why was there no lawyer looking out for the interests of the water supply company in this deal? Check form. Check form. You're a director. You are a director of this water supply company doing a real estate transaction. Explain, please, to me why. In your capacity as a director, you did not have adequate legal representation on board for the company. Objection form. Objection form. I don't know why the board didn't. Okay. You were a director. I don't know why the board in general, uh, even uh, the, the entire board was happy about the uh, transaction. Why there was no uh, Zeppa brought in to oversee it, I have no idea. Is that how it came to be that there was no taxiway access to the remainder? That there was no, that there was no lawyer? Objection form. I don't know what you, I, I disagree. I don't even know what you're referring to. You think that when this transaction was done, there was taxiway access to the remainder? Let me Every, phrase that. Uh -huh. Do you believe that on March the 15th of 2016, the remainder <coughs> tract behind what you bought had access to get to the runway? Legal access. Objection. Object form. For the, aircraft. For aircraft, it, yes, because we had given a 50-foot easement. Who's we? Well, uh, I say in the deed to Friendship Homes, and we can pull that up, it, they've maintained in the deed a 50-foot easement right away. For taxiway? Yes. Okay. And we should be able to find those words then in the deed taxiway. Is that correct? Check form. I believe so. Okay. Yeah. And then uh, it also has 50 foot access easement on the plat itself. On the plat that the water supply company did of its own property? Yes. You think that the water supply company could reserve an easement for itself on its own property? Check form. form. I think that's the intent on the deed, that it, it, it held back a 50-foot easement access. Did it hold back the 25-foot building setback that you told me earlier was required in order for these airplanes to get by? No, it didn't at that time. And so that meant that there was no adequate taxiway access to the remainder. Isn't that right? No, I disagree. Where was the building setback that you and I talked about at the very beginning of this deposition? I understand. Check form. Check form. But at, at the time, the agreement was a 50-foot easement. And when a developer plans everything out, at that time when they're platting is when they do the building setbacks. And that building setback was always part of my original design 
when I came up with it, you know, in uh, you know late. 2016 beginning 2017. Why wasn't it on the 2016 plat? It didn't need to be. Why it, not? It, because in order to use that for a taxiway, it needed to be on the plat, did it not? Objection. The building setback line needed to be on the plat in order for that access easement to be a viable taxiway. Isn't that true? Objection. Objection. No, that's not true. Why not? Because when I'm developing it, then I would put the setbacks. Otherwise, I would be shooting my toes off to develop it without the setback. Excuse I mean, me? why would I why would I develop it and not put a setback when I'm developing it for hangar? When I when you develop the property and you have a 50 foot right of way easement, when you start in and and lay out the lots, that's when the design comes in how much the setback. How much buildable area do the mayors have if you put a 25-foot setback on their property? Um, I believe we had to account for more. I think we had to account for, uh, no, I disagree. With a 25-foot setback, it's going to be a total of 75 foot, which is plenty wide enough. The, the wider the setback, you know, the bigger the airplanes can go in it. I ask a bad question. You replatted the property before you sold it to the mayors, correct? Correct. And the land that ended up getting sold to the mayors, that tracked H2A, that was smaller than the original H2, correct? Correct. If you put a 25 foot setback on the mayors, how much buildable area do they have? We're going to have 80 by 80 hangers that can be 80 by hanger. 80 by 80 hangers, three of them on there. You, isn't it true that the mayors could not develop that land for 80 by 80 hangers without there being a taxiway along the southern boundary line? Yes, and that's, that's what we'll be put in. Because that's what benefits the mayor tract. It isn't benefits that correct? the water board also. If the easement had been retained, as you say, <coughs> you would not be in control of it, would you? Objection. 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 I don't know. I don't know what you mean by that. Who, in your understanding, is in control of the taxiway that was granted by the, what was it called, non-exclusive access easement that was done in October? Objection. Objection. Form. Form. The, are you referring to the easement agreement? Yes, ma'am. Okay. I don't remember what it's called, what its title is, but it's in this big book. We can look at it if we want okay. to. So, to me, the easement agreement benefits both parties because either party can improve and whatever parties used in that easement would be responsible for the upkeep of it. Well, that's not quite true, is it? Okay. I mean, it's in the book and it's at tab 25. <coughs> and it says in paragraph three, grantee, that'd be the people on the remainder tract, shall not have the right to place any improvements on the easement property or to change the topography slope or drainage in any manner without the prior written consent of grantor. Isn't that right? That's, that's normal, yes. If this were a retained easement, it would be retained by the water supply company. Do you agree with that? No. Who do you think would retain the easement if it were retained in the deed? Objection form. Objection form. If, if uh, are you talking in regards to the actual land under the easement? No, ma'am. Are you talking about the, you're just talking about the easement itself? Yes, ma'am. This easement benefits the Windermere Oaks Water Supply Corporation. I'm gonna object to form, but you go ahead and finish your answer if you have more to it. No, that's it. All right. Do you, 
you told me there was an easement retained in the deed. Do you remember that? Yes. And we can find that in your declaration. Do you still have your declaration up there? It's got the deeds attached to let's, it. Let's look at it. Do you remember what number it is? Your declaration is number 36. I think it's right here. And it's kind of a thick stack with a clip right. on it. There you go. Okay. And I find a deed at page 31. And remember, that's little handwriting pages that are just for convenience. Okay. Um... Uh, just on uh, number two, Grand Tour, this is down near the bottom. Right. Grand Tour retains a 50-foot access easement over and across the west property line of track H2, as shown by the plat. So it's referring to the plat. And that's what you think is the taxiway, correct? That's correct. Okay. Who's Grand Tour? The water company. So this says water company retains an easement, correct? Correct. That means the water company will be in control of that easement, correct? Check the form. I disagree with that. Who's it's up to be the attorneys. To, I mean... Yes, it should have had an attorney. Yes, it should. Why did it not? Check, Check the form. form. Well, the attorney prepared this document. What attorney prepared this document? Whatever attorney the title company uses. Well, do you know who that is? <clears throat> I, I would assume uh, <coughs> Robert Clager. Each, each title company has usually an attorney's office that prepares things. Well, what, what title company closed this deal? Service title. And that's a title company that you have used a lot, correct? There's, I've used them and several other title companies. I'm not saying you used them exclusively, but you've used service? service? Certainly. Sur uh, used, service title company. You've used service title company a lot, right? Yes. And, that, and Clager does their deeds all the time, doesn't he? I believe they do, he does. And you looked at these deeds before you took them, before you accepted them, right? Yes. Did you pick up the package and take it over to Mabin on this deal as well, like you did on track G? I don't know if, if this was one that he came by the office and we had a carry like on the weekend, we'd have to look and see. I can tell you it was a Sunday. Yeah, so Carrie came by my office. I picked up the package, and Carrie came by, and they signed it. So Maven came to your office? Yes. And you had a package from the title company? Yes. And Carrie came, and she notarized your signature and his signature? I would have to look and see. If you had to have something notarized, Carrie would have done it. Well, or, I or, the, or I'd have done mine at the title company, because there, there was a lot more paperwork for me to sign with the loan and all. Okay, well, I don't think anybody's mm -hmm. given that to me yet. Okay. I just have the Check deeds. Do you recall going to the title company to sign documents? Not specifically, but I do that all the time if I need to go by there to close because that's where the funds will be. Okay. Do you recall specifically closing on a Sunday on this particular transaction? I don't recall me closing. I, I do recall Bob Mabin and Carrie Gibson uh, coming by my office to sign the papers at the title company for the, the water company. Okay. Did you pick up the papers from the title company? I think I did. And so but you. But I'm not for sure. Okay, and so, mm -hmm. in all likelihood, you had the package of these documents that were signed, including the deeds. Well, I, I, I'm fairly certain that anything that may have been signed, that was the case. I'm not certain in my case, because I go to the title company and get theirs, have mine signed there. Okay. Usually. But here's my point. You had a package that contained the deeds that Maven signed that transferred the property, correct? Oh, I'm, yes. If, if that's the package they gave me and that's what is signed, sure. How many deeds do you think you've looked at in your career? I, I, have, I have no idea. Thousands? 
Here's my point. I'm not. Would you agree with me that you certainly have the experience to look at this deed and determine whether or not it's conveying what you want to have conveyed? Isn't that right? Well, not necessarily. Not necessarily. Because well, why wouldn't you? Check the phone. Uh, because we did two deeds, one with a lien and one without. Okay. That's why myself nor the title company caught that the Piper Lane piece did not get included. Well, you do have the expertise to look at this deed and to look at the other deed and to determine if you put your mind to it whether or not it conveyed to you the property that you thought ought to be conveyed. Isn't that right? Objection form. All I can tell you is at the time I didn't, I had no idea that I didn't get all of what I was paying for. You never told anybody on the board of directors that you thought that you were going to be acquiring Piper Lane, did you? Objection form. form. It was part of the contract and yes I did. Who did you tell that you thought you were going to be acquiring part of Piper Lane? Check form. The, it, the uh, on the contract itself, it gives the footages. The contract is in, well, it's attached to your declaration. Right. And so let's find the legal description that's in the contract. And you just tell me the little number page that we need to be looking at. So page 22. Okay. Four property lot, 4.3 acres, approximately 349.94 feet <coughs> wide by 544.91 deep. Okay. Now take a look at exhibit 59, which I've been told is the company, the property that was owned by the water supply company prior to the transaction with Friendship Homes and Hangers. Fifty-nine, okay. I'm sorry. Exhibit fifty-nine. Yep. Here's what I'm told. I'm told that that outlines the property owned by the water supply company prior to the transaction with Friendship. Can you confirm that either way? I think this is incorrect. What do you think is incorrect? This is square down here. <coughs> okay. It's squared off. There, there's a whole nother design with the footages and everything that I have another one, but okay. it's really hard to read. And we can mark we should mark that as 60 so that because you're looking at it. So yeah, that's see that's that configuration is correct. It's still hard to read, but we took a straight line from this line straight back right here. Let me put an exhibit sticker okay. on number 60, mm -hmm. and if this one is one more to your liking, We'll use 60. Right, and it's this line here. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the difference... Well, they, they notched out this. That's what I... Oh, see. Gotcha. I think somebody just made a mistake there. Because this is the Spencer Mann tract. That's the piece, and, and it goes all the way to that. I'm with you. East. Yeah. I'm with you. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So let's use 60, because you are more comfortable with 60. And that's fine. And here's what I want you to do. Pretend that you don't know what property that you intended to acquire and take your contract and draw the property described in the contract from the legal description that is contained in the contract. This line here just goes straight on down. And I want you to find the language in the contract that would enable somebody who doesn't know one way or the other to identify the tract that is to be conveyed. Well, the footage is 349.94 is on there, and, where do, and 544. And where do we, so if we are not familiar with this, where do we begin looking for that measurement? Well, on a better copy of a plat than this one. 
it, it's it's on there, and the footages are on there. Where would be our point there. of beginning? How would we tell if we didn't know, like you do, what you wanted to acquire? How would we tell what the point of beginning is to try to describe the tract that you believe the contract describes? On exhibit well, six, just use exhibit there, sixty. There is a drawing that was given to the board at the time, and it showed this where rectangular. In the, where is the drawing that was given to the board? I have, I have no idea, but there is a drawing that shows 549.94 by, uh, or 349.94 by 544.91. Well, you can see, because every, co well, let me just ask you, the copy of the contract that is attached to your declaration, does that contract contain a diagram or a sketch or anything that would enable someone who's not you to locate the property that you intended to acquire. At the time this was given to the board, there was a drawing with a line and the dimensions. Okay. You've produced a contract. You've said in your declaration it's the contract. Is there any drawing attached? I don't see a drawing attached to this, but I know at the meeting there was a drawing. Have you seen any contract produced in this lawsuit that had a drawing attached? I don't see the drawing that was uh, given to the board with those dimensions and with the line on it showing 4.3 acres. Does the contract say in the legal description next to those dimensions, see attached drawing or words to that no, effect? No, it does not. So I'm going to ask you again whether you as an experienced real estate broker would be able to take the contract without the sketch that you say was there and identify the property to be conveyed. I believe at the time it was go out and get the surveyor to survey this off. So the drawing was was presented. I don't know where the drawing is, but it was certainly presented and the footages are on here. That was presented at the time. And we, you know. Objection, non-responsive. Okay. You were here when I asked Bob <coughs> Maven very directly whether you ever suggested to him that you wanted to acquire Piper Lane, weren't you? Yes. And he said, no, you did not. Do you remember that? I remember it, but I've, you know. Do you disagree with him? I do. Why on earth would the directors of the water supply company convey Piper Lane to you or friendship? Check form. Check form. What could possibly be in the best interest of the water supply company to convey the taxiway to someone else? Check form. Check form. What's the objection? You're asking about the, the, what the state of mind of a of the third party? Of the director? Ma'am, she was recused as a director from that vote. So you, she is still a director. She did not no, vote. No, ma'am, she did not, okay. not vote or make the decision. And you're asking about the decision of the board as a whole. Right. Okay, then I'm going to ask you in your capacity as a director of the water supply company, what possible benefit could there be to the water supply company to convey away the taxiway to a third party in a transaction such as the one that was supposedly approved for Friendship Homes and Hangers? Check form. Do I get to answer? You do. Okay. So, unless uh, they tell you not to, and okay. then we'll so talk the, about it. Uh, for the water board at the time, w the idea was just to cut a rectangular piece, maintain, uh, and get an easement. No, there was no discussion. It, you know, everybody knew at the time that that was the rectangular piece, and on the drawing we had, it certainly included Piper Lane. So, uh, objection, non-responsive. Go ahead. Okay. Finish. I thought you were. Yeah. I apologize. Go ahead. That's it. Okay, so objection non-responsive. Here's my question. You're now saying <coughs> that 
the board of directors conveyed or contracted to convey the taxiway that would give access to its remainder tract to the runway away to a third party. Is that what you're saying? Check form. Okay, And what, what is the objection there? They didn't convey, I take it's issue with conveying away a taxiway with subject to all kinds of easements. I think your language is not precise, yeah. so that's my objection. Okay, how about this? Do you believe that the board of directors of the water supply company entered into an agreement to convey away the land that the taxiway, now known as Piper Lane, sits on? to a third party? Yes. As a director of the water supply company at the time, can you envision any benefit to the water supply company of conveying away the land under the taxiway, now known as Piper Lane, when it still had land to sell that needed access to the runway? Check the form. Can I answer it? Okay. So, number one, the benefit was another twenty-six thousand dollars in cash. I'm so because what? I paid for that. Number two, they were receiving back an easement to access Piper Lane. Piper Lane, on its own self, does not have access to the runway virtue of just being Piper Lane and an, and an, uh, an easement? Well, it was the water supply company itself that granted the Aviation Inc. and Windermere Air Park an easement across Piper Lane to use it as a taxiway, correct? Correct. That's how it got to be a taxiway. Isn't that right? Correct. And the deed that does that is Exhibit 61, or the agreement that does that is Exhibit 61. This is why I never have it at court, ever. Uh, mm -hmm. So, uh, part of Piper Lane is actually was owned by Spicewood Aviation. Not all of it was Windermere. Oaks water supply. It's just the way everything ran right there. There was there was another twenty foot of the of it that had it to be um, uh, granted. So all of Piper Lane is not owned by the pilots. Uh, by was not owned by the Windermere Oaks water supply. Just yeah, but point the, of but the Aviation Inc. did not have enough land, and the Windermere Air Park did not have enough land to have a taxiway through there for the aircraft that needed to get through there without the easement agreement from the water supply company, right? Check form. The easement agreement covers just that land, nothing else. Do you understand the question that I asked you? The... the uh, you I guess me, I don't. You told me part of Piper Lane was owned by the Aviation Inc., right? Right. There's a sliver of it, 20 foot, that's owned by Spicewood Aviation. And But that was not enough to have a taxiway large enough to accommodate the kind of aircraft that come through that airport. Isn't that true? Yes. And so it needed, there needed to be an easement agreement from the water supply company in order to create a taxiway sufficient to accommodate the aircraft that come through that airport. Isn't that right? Yes. And Exhibit 61 is how that happened. Isn't that right? Um, I think that this is something that a title company and attorney need to sit down and look at on these easements to see exactly oh how... Uh, this easement is the configuration of it is is limiting so that just having the, the easement here does not grant an easement to the runway well interestingly enough that was a question that I was going to ask you but let me ask first this one do you believe that you have the expertise to determine what property does and does not have access to the runway 
within the Spicewood Airport? No, I do not. You need a lawyer in order to make that determination, and you know that, right? Yes, I absolutely do. And you knew it at the time that you closed the transaction in March of 2016. <coughs> Isn't that right? At a, actually, at the title company, when they prepared the deed with the, the easement on it, I thought that was plenty good enough and it's because it's a... Uh, it cites that they're retaining a 50-foot easement, the objection, water company. Objection non-responsive. You told me that today you'd need a lawyer in order to sort out all this easement stuff, right? Object form. Is that right or not? Object form. Object form. You Agreed. That you don't feel that you're qualified to do that yourself. Is that right? I'm not a lawyer or a title company. And you weren't qualified to do that in March 2016 either, were you? Agreed. And so, can you, let me ask you one more time, if you weren't qualified to do it, you, did you think Bob Maven was qualified to determine whether or not there was proper easement, legal easement access to the runway? I think we all relied on the title company and their attorney to prepare it based upon the contract given to them. Did the title company issue a title policy to the water supply company that ensured an easement to the remainder? I have no idea. Do you think that happened? I, I don't, I, without going back and looking at that, I have no idea if they did that. Suffice it to say that you certainly did not make sure that there was remain, ex, taxiway access to the remainder through the title company. Is that fair? Well, there is taxiway access in the deed, and that's what I thought was covering the... I asked you a question okay. I didn't mean to ask. Okay. You told me a minute ago, we all relied on the title company. Do we need to change that? No. Now, no. here's what I want to know. Did you ever circle back around with the title company to say, I'd like to be sure there's taxiway access to the remainder. Can you please give me some assurance of that? I did not, uh, other than the fact that the contract says that there is a 50-foot easement to be held back for the water company, and I assume that was the proper verbiage. Did you ever circle back around with the title company to say, hey, I am a director of this water supply company, and I need to know whether or not there is taxiway access from Piper Lane to the remainder tract? Objection form. Objection form. I did not because I thought it was I thought it was already there. Did no, it's been about an hour. That's fine. Break. Yeah, it's fine. Okay. You okay. just need to you just need to tell me and I'll Okay. We're off the record. It's three fifty PM. This concludes recording three.